After studying this module, you shall be able to know about what is cyber stalking and web jacking. What are the methods adopted for committing such crimes? Identify the culprits and the victims. What are the preventive measures that can be taken? Now the introduction to cyber stalking. Cyber stalking. Cyber stalking is known as the continuous use of the internet to stalk or other electronic means to follow someone. This term is interchangeably used with online harassment or online abuse. Now the classification of cyber stalkers. Stalkers can be categorized in the following four categories according to the motive behind the activity and their modus operandi. The first one is rejected stalkers. It is the most common stubborn and disturbing kind of stalker that law enforcement agencies deal with. They are the people who has influence or the feelings of love towards someone. This can be any former romantic partner or a friend of friend unknown or known to one and who has ended their relationship with mutual understanding. Second is offended stalker. They are the persons looking for a chance to take revenge against people who has troubled them. They could be anyone like someone very well known to the stalker or in fact a complete stranger. Their actions are meant to cause harm to the victim emotionally or to frighten the person and to create a situation of distress the victim. Now the third obsessed stalker. They strive for establishing an intimate relationship which always tend to be one way journey of feelings. Some other case might be loving relationship with their victim. Ideology behind such activity is that the victim and the stalker are meant to be together. These type of people believe that the victim owes them love and affection. Now the fourth, predatory stalkers. They are only after the victims because of their pure desire or wish to have sexual satisfaction and to have power over their victim. They are class of sexual predators whose sole motive is to physically or sexually attack the victim. Now the reasons behind cyber stalking. For harassing someone there might be a strong reason involved behind it. Sometimes or it may be just for the pleasure of the culprit gained by torturing the victim in many cases. Few of the physiological reasons behind cyber stalking are discussed here. First is frustrated, rejected, dissed or imagined lover. Second is revenge against the real or imagined act of betrayal by the partner. Third, hate, narrow mindedness and intolerance. Fourth, teaching someone a lesson. Fifth, random attack the victim being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now the methods adopted by cyber stalkers. There are various methods adopted by the cyber stalkers. We discuss few of them here below which are commonly adopted by them. First one is the email and instant messaging direct threats. Identify theft. Building a website merely for targeting unaware victims, creating false profiles to post fake ads about the victim, posting the pictures of victim onto a pornographical site or by posting original sexual pictures of the victim online, provoking any sort of attacks against the victim by others, contacting victim's family or employer, posting in a news group or on a bulletin board, 
following or chasing the victim from site to site. Now the class of people targeted as victims. First is male or female depending on the age group. In 18 to 32 year olds, females dominate the class of prey. People often formerly involved in a real kind of relationship or thought to be romantic or any kind of sexual relationship. They can be anyone, a member of any particular deliberately targeted minority group or special group. These groups can be based on hatred towards one ethnic beliefs, racial differences and religious monetaries. Homogeneous partners such as gays and lesbians. Political or special interest group. Minors especially from the group of other minors that are known. They are basically child abusers who sexually exploits them. People who are new to the internet often are an easy prey for cyber stalkers. Now the cyber stalking preventive measures. The prevention is better than cure. So goes the saying and it stands out to be a very true phase when it comes to preventive measures that can be taken by any user or person to avoid being the victim of a cyber stalker. Here below we have discussed a few of them. Never share personal information online. Never fill out profiles or include personal information on every public website. Never use a gender definite or provoking screen name or email address. Never flirt or start a conversation online unless you are in well acquaintance of that person personally. Never share your password with anyone. When cyber dating, set up distinctive email address without personal details like address or phone numbers. If you doubt that there have been any indication that they have your offline information, straight away call up the law enforcement agencies. If they, the stalker threatens any kind of physical violence to you or to your family, call the police. Last but not the least, never give reply to any cyber stalker. Awareness leads to safety, so always keep your eyes and ears vigilant to any such activity and respond bravely and confidently if any such situation appears. Now the web jacking. This takes place when someone forcefully or deliberately try to take control of a particular website by developing a method of cracking the password and later changing it. The actual owner of the website does not have any more control over what appears on that website. Now the methods of web jacking. Attackers tend to use this method are firstly creating a fake website and wait for the time for victim to open the link created by him. When a page becomes on a screen with the message that the website they were looking for has moved to another address and they are needed to click another link. If at all the victim clicks the given link that appears to be real, he will redirect it to a fake page. The social engineering toolkit has already imported this kind of attack. So we are now to use this set in order to implement this method. After we had opened up the set and we select the option 2 which is the website attack vectors. Now we will see a list with the available web attack methods. The attack that we are going to use is of course the web jacking attack so we select option number 6. In the next menu we get 3 options and we have to select the site cloner 
so that we can clone the website that is of our interest. For example, we have selected the clone Facebook because of its popularity. Whenever a user opens the legitimate website, a message appears informing the user that the website has moved to a new location. The link on the message will appear so similar to the genuine web page that any unsuspicious user click on the link. At the time, a new page loads into the victim's browser which may be fake and will send the credentials to the hosting server. Now, the other common methods of web jacking. First is SQL injection attacks. To find the flaw present in websites that have database running behind them. To look for a poorly validated input field in a web input form may allow the attacker or jacker to insert or introduce additional SQL instructions later which might be passed directly into the backend database. Now the malicious advertisements. By introduction of malicious advertisements, for example, a number of sites on internet project ads that are presented by third-party advertising sites. Detection becomes difficult because large number of advertisement is published automatically. A random advent advances the process of detection. Now the search engine result redirection. Next is the attacks on the backend virtual hosting companies. Next is the vulnerabilities in the web server or forum hosting software. Next is cross-site scripting XSS attackers. Now the preventive measures. Never take anything for granted. People who always think what somebody will gain by attacking my account are an easy prey for people involved in web jacking. A web page can not only be used to directly harm a person's integrity, but it can also be used as an effective tool similar to a host or zombie for harassing or defaming others. Here are few methods described below which can be taken as preventive measures. First is the be vigilant and suspicious. Avoid things that seems to be good and deceiving. Use safe search functionality in browsers. Second, adopt strong password policy. Use set or mixture of letters, numbers and symbols. Change the passwords frequently. Use unique and different passwords for different sites. Next is prevention is the key. Reduce or eliminate the vulnerability. Be proactive in protecting system. Now the summary. Cyber stalking means stalking someone with the intention of either harassing or abusing the person. It can start online and remain online or it may start online and also become an integral part of victim's life or vice versa. Web jacking is gained unauthorized control over others' web page with his consent. To prevent from becoming a victim in any of the case, the most important thing is to be vigilant and suspicious.